Biasing in semiconductor means applying potential difference, giving it work, giving it energy, energy to flow, tension which will flow the energy in a particular direction. That is, how do we give it? By fixing a battery across a semiconductor, by fixing a source of EMF across a semiconductor. Now, there can be two methods how we can apply EMF across or potential difference across a semiconductor. These two methods are known as methods of biasing, giving potential difference across semiconductor. So, one is known as forward biasing and one is reverse biasing. First, we will study forward biasing. In forward biasing, P-type is connected with positive side of the cell and N is connected with negative side of the cell. Minus with N and plus with P. Now, what effect does it have? When we connect it, switch it on. This is positive, so this press all this positive, repel. So, there is a pressure from here on positive and there is a pressure from here on negative. As a result of that, we see this layer has gone here and this layer goes here. So, we get the new layer like this. And now they are closed. So, this depletion layer shrink. So, in forward biasing, plus of cell connected to P type semiconductor. Okay. Minus to N type semiconductor. What is the effect? Depletion layer shrink. And if depletion layer shrink, you may say the resistance is decreasing. More than depletion layer study, it is very important to study what happens to the potential barrier. Here, there was a potential barrier, high potential and barrier and low potential. This was the distance and this was the distance. Now, this is decreased. When this is decreased, it has come to this level. Now, how much is the potential barrier? This much. If it is decreased further, the potential barrier will be only this much. What is the unit of potential? Voltage. So, this volt, 5 volt, 3 volt, 2 volt, 1 volt. So, when depletion layer keep on shrinking, the potential barrier gets lower. So, this is what is happening with the potential barrier. Now, you can understand it the other way. What is the direction of potential here? Plus to minus. This is the direction of this. Let us call it induced potential. V induced. This potential we apply. Here is plus, here is minus. So, this is the direction of V applied. And you see the directions are opposite. Then what will be the potential difference here? Answer the potential difference will be algebraic sum of the two, algebraic sum. Now if this potential difference is equal to 0.7, this, okay, then this we are applying here, this is say 0.7. 0.2 in this direction. 0.2. So, what will be this now? 0.5. Suppose we increase this and make it 0.4. Then, what it will be? 0.3 in this direction. If it is 0.3 in this direction, still 
this positive cannot go here, this negative cannot go here because the resultant voltage is in this direction and electron cannot go. This will oppose. Now, we increase it further and make it 0.7. If we make this 0.7, this is also 0.7. Now, how much is the resultant? 0. That means there is no potential barrier and both the potential have become same level, same potential. Now if there is same potential, all these electrons, they jump. Now there is, this layer has shrunk, shrunk, shrunk and there is no uh, layer. The layer has collapsed the potential barrier has collapsed. Now it has become a very simple semiconductor which has got a large number of charge carriers because the number of charge carriers are very large and there is no depletion layer in between. There is no opposite potential which we call potential barrier to cross it. So all these electrons can run freely. So they run freely and come here, here, here. This depletion layer is gone. And now it has got majority of electron. This has got majority of holes. So it is very convenient for them to jump like this. And this side is what? Plus. This is minus. So this electron jump comes to plus, go to battery. Then this electron come, this come, this come and this electron will come from here, minus. So electron go like this. So current flow like this, opposite to the direction of electrons. So we can say these positive are moving in this direction, electrons are moving in this direction and the current start flowing, there is no girth of charges because there are number of charge we have created in n type and p type all those charge carriers are now in action and there is a good current flowing in that and it has become a conductor because current is flowing when it has become a conductor when the potential difference applied by us has become equal to the induced potential difference or which has become equal to the barrier potential. So when applied potential cross the barrier potential then only depletion layer is destroyed and then only this mixing start and they start flowing and up to that time, up to that time there is no current. So this is what happens in forward biasing. So in forward biasing, what is the result? It becomes a conductor, current start flowing. We neglect the initial part because initial part is very small, 0.7 for uh, silicon and 0.45 for germanium. So after this voltage, current start flowing in it and this becomes a conductor. So we remember in forward biasing, diode or p-n junction behaves like a conductor and it allows current to flow. So now we will see, okay, depletion layer shrink, potential barrier lower. At a stage when applied voltage become more than potential barrier, the barrier collapse, no depletion layer, lot many charge carriers. So now it act as conductor. So this is what happens in forward biasing. Okay, so after that in the next lecture we will see reverse biasing, what happens in that. Thank you.